In this video, we will look at the definition of a function. Before we formally define a function, it is important to understand the main idea behind what a function is and what a function does. The best way to illustrate a function is to consider a vending machine. After paying, you input a series of codes into the vending machine, and through the machine's programming, your desired food item is output. This is the basic idea of a function. We take elements from one set and send them to values in another set. Now we will formally define a function. Let a and b be two non-empty sets. A function f from a to b is a rule that assigns every element of a to a unique element of b. We denote a function from a to b like this. And when referring to element assignment, we write f of a equals b when we assign the element little a in the set capital A to the element little b in the set capital B. The set of inputs to the function, which here we denote with the capital A, is called the domain of the function f. And the set b, which is the set of all outputs of the function, is called the codomain. When referring to the element assignment f of a equals b, we call the element b in the codomain the image of a under f, and we call the element a in the domain the preimage of b under f. The most common way to define a function is with a formula or equation. For example, consider the function f from the natural numbers to the natural numbers given by f of m is equal to n squared. In this function, both the domain and the codomain are the same set. For any natural number n we provide as input, we calculate its image under f by squaring the input. So, the image of 1 under f is 1 squared, which is 1. The image of 2 under f is 2 squared, which is 4. The image of 3 under f is 9, the image of 4 under f is 16, and so on. As a second example, consider the function f from the natural numbers to z5 given by f of a is equal to a mod 5. To compute the image for each element in the domain, we simply take its value mod 5. The first 8 are shown here and we can continue this pattern indefinitely. One of the best ways to visualize functions is through the use of diagrams. For example, consider the functions f from z6 to z6 and g from z6 to z6 given by f of a is equal to a squared mod 6 and g of a is equal to a cubed mod 6. Because the domain and codomains for these functions are finite, we can express them in the following diagram. The elements on the left are from the domain, and the elements on the right are from the codomain. Since the codomain and domains for both of these functions are the same, z mod 6, the elements in both are the same. To finish this diagram, we compute the image for each element under f and g, and connect the diagrams like so. Drawing diagrams like this is an effective way to visualize the relationships between elements and their images under various functions. Here are some examples for you to try on your own. For each function, compute the image of the given element under that function. Here are the solutions for each of these example problems.